Yes, hello, it's your guy Davin the Geek. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a complete image of your hard drive, all of your programs, all of your system files, all of everything, so you can back them up and use them if you, you know, if you get a virus or something, you know, your programs will be completely safe either on a CD or a partition that you make inside of your Windows Vista or XP or any of, the, any of those. And if you don't know how to make a partition, I guess I can show you guys as well. So let's get to this tutorial. Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy, Davin the Geek. And today I'm gonna to show you all how you can create a complete backup image of your whole entire operating system. And what you can do is what the um, complete image um, of your operating system is you're going to have all of your programs installed all of that stuff all of your files completely installed and ready to go so you don't have to keep on reinstalling all of the programs you know if you have to reinstall your operating system okay there's the thing like it's almost like a restore point almost but not really not at all a restore point for example is something that you can do that Windows need on the hard drive and say if your restore your your whole system is corrupted and you can't get back to the operating system to get to the restore point then you're going to be out of luck then and and once you're out of luck by doing that you can't do anything you're going to have to take your computer into a specialist and or get your whole computer reinstalled you know your whole operating system reinstalled with a CD that you have to buy at a store or something well with using this program you can create a complete copy of your operating system so that so if you ever get a, a, a totally corrupted system you can use the disk to, to boot from and and reinstall your operating system the way you had it um, prior to the you know corruption of your system and a good note is to make sure to defragment your hard drive and make sure you don't have any viruses and make sure you're working on a clean slate or a really a really clean operating system you know so you can make a backup image from so let me tell you what program I'm using today this is Macrium Reflect and what this is is and what this is it is a free application that allows you to make a complete backup image of your operating system some people might have to buy the CDs that they bought their computer from to get the backup of their operating system or for some reason they will give you a option where you can back up your system just once you know make backup CDs with um you know with your manufacturer of your computer but with this program you can make as many CDs as you want or you can put the you can back them up inside of a folder and you can use them you know for later or whatever so yeah today I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this program and you know yeah and the way you get the program is you're gonna go to your web browser and type in you can type in macrium reflect inside of a search engine like at, like google or yahoo but i i tend to go to cnet.com or downloads.com you can call it that as well and you can go to the, the download section and type in macrium reflect and you'll come right here to like something like this or it might have other options well for other programs but you're going to want to get the free program and if you don't want to go to cnet.com, I suggest you go to, let me highlight this. Let's try Google, google.com. Let's put in Macrium Reflect, and we're going to search. And you're going to come here to the, the first link. And you're going to download the free version. And it's going to take you to downloads.com, you know, the website I was already at. So, yeah. And once you download the free version, you install it. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that though, because that's pretty easy. 
and I am not going to have a lot of time to do this tutorial with you know. Okay, and now you're going to come to a window just like this after you install it. And once you install it, you will get a pop-up window that tells you that you need to have internet so it can verify its registration. You know, the number, the registration number it has. So yeah, you do that, you know, and you're going to get this window right here. And what you're going to be interested in is creating a image of your whole entire system so this one right here you can click this or you can click right here and what this is going to do is going to guide you through making a complete image of your system so you could you click next and you you pick which system you are hard drive or partition these are called parti partitions and if you don't know what a partition is you can go to your your computer right here go to my computer and up here you can see your partitions these are the hard drives or well, not technically hard drives but most of the times it can be split up part partitions on your hard drive of a hard drive it's hard to explain but that's what it is it's that's what a partition is it's a partition of your hard drive so i'm going to back up my entire c drive right here so let me back that up so i checked it and I want to click next and you can do two things you can do a number of things you can back your files up on a folder on your network or you can back it up on your um, a CD or DVD remember if you back it up on a DVD you're going to need a number of DVDs to back the system up on or you can back it up on a I suggest to put it on a partition of your hard drive or you can back it up on a external hard drive or a portable hard drive whatever you want to call it so yeah and I'm gonna back it up on to a partition uh, that I made on my computer and I probably will make another video showing you guys how you can make a partition or showing you all because you know not all of you you um, viewers are guys and you're girls as well so yeah showing you all how to make a partition but for now I'm gonna back it up on my partition so I'm going to create a, so I'm going to back it up on my partition. So I'm going to click right here, come down here to browse for, for folder. Now I'm going to find my partition. I want to back my whole image of my hard, my um, operating system on. So I'm going to come right here to local disk. I'm just going to put it right here on my backup part, um, partition right here. And that's my D drive. So I'm going to click next. I hope there's enough room on there. So. I don't know there might be enough room or probably not enough room so I don't know and I'm going to and you can click advanced so you can mess around with these but the recommended settings are good to use and there's nothing wrong with them so yeah so you're gonna come here to finish yep I'm gonna make a backup on my backup and now what it's going to do is going to analyze my system and it's going to back up the the um, information onto the hard drive or the partition I might say in this case. 